Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you install the vent kit components in your dryer, make sure the power cord is unplugged and the venting is detached from the dryer exhaust outlet. Use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the rear screws, securing the top panel and bracket to the rear panel. Slide the top panel back and lift up to detach. Next, unthread the screws, securing the control housing. Disconnect the control panel wire connector from the control board. You can now lift the control housing and panel up and out to remove. Disconnect the door switch wire harness. Lift up the front of the dryer and support it. Use the quarter inch socket or nut driver to fully unthread the outer screws, securing the bottom of the front panel. Loosen the two middle screws. Remove the support and lower the appliance. Now open the dryer door and use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two screws, securing the front panel to the bulkhead. Use the quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the three top screws. Now lift the front panel up and out to remove. Next, unthread the screws securing the control housing bracket. Unthread the screws securing the front of the control board bracket. Use wire or tape to support the bracket. You can now lift the control housing bracket up to remove. Disconnect the moisture sensor wire harness. Unthread the screw to release the lower retaining bracket. Now unthread the four screws securing the front bulkhead to the frame. Lift the bulkhead up and detach it from the drum and frame. Now reach under the drum and push the idler pulley to release the tension on the belt. Then unthread the belt from the pulley and motor shaft. You can use the belt to help lift out the drum. Now unthread the screw securing the outlet vent to the blower housing. Slide the vent out. Depress the tabs to detach the plastic vent ring.
If you need the venting to exhaust out the left or right side of the cabinet, use a hammer and chisel to break the retaining tabs, securing the appropriate rear knockout cover. Fully detach the cover. If you need to exhaust the vent through the base of the dryer, you will need to first set the dryer on its side before removing the bottom knockout cover. Next, attach the medium-sized vent piece from the kit to the blower housing. Secure the vent with the screw. If exhausting through the dryer base, you will need to add the small extension vent piece in order to align the elbow section with the hole. Insert the elbow section into the long vent and secure with a 4-inch clamp. Place another 4-inch clamp over the end of the elbow section. Now insert the long vent through the hole in the cabinet or base and align the elbow on the vent piece attached to the blower outlet. Tighten the clamp to secure. Be aware you will need to have at least 10 inches of space between the wall and the cabinet when installing side venting. Next, slide the plastic ring over the long vent piece and snap it into place in the hole. Cover the old rear exhaust hole by positioning the tab of the provided metal cover plate in the opening from the inside. Push down on the tab from behind the dryer to raise the plate. Insert a small Phillips head screwdriver through the larger hole to hold the plate in place as you use a number 2 Phillips head screwdriver to thread the mounting screw to secure the plate. If the venting has been changed from one side of the cabinet to the other, you can snap the provided plastic plug into the panel to fill the hole. Replace the drum by aligning the smaller rim on the rear rollers. Loop the belt around the pulley and motor shaft in a zigzag formation. Now rotate the drum to help align the belt. Reinstall the front bulkhead by hooking it onto the frame as you align the rollers under the drum. Rethread and tighten the four screws to secure the bulkhead. Reposition the lower retaining bracket and secure it with the screw. Reconnect the moisture sensor wire harness. Reposition the control housing bracket on the frame under the control board bracket. Replace the screws to secure. Reposition the front panel on the loosened screws and feed the wire under the control housing bracket. Then align the top edge of the panel on the mounting tabs. Thread and tighten the top screws. Replace the screws behind the door.
support the dryer, and tighten the two middle screws securing the bottom of the front panel. Thread and tighten the outer screws. Remove the support. Connect the door switch wire harness. Feed the control panel wire through the housing and control board mounting brackets and snap the control housing into place. Thread the screws to secure. Connect the wire connector to the control board. Realign the top panel and bracket, then slide it into position. Thread the screws in the rear and tighten. With the reassembly complete, plug the power cord in and attach and secure the exterior venting. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.